them now, so if I just squat back, I can't. I've just pushed behind, gone all the way around, and it's clicked in. So the next step is now to um, put the chrome on, as I said. It's all got its lugs. It's exactly the same principle as we saw there. Okay. Uh, get them all the way around. Okay, I don't need to worry too much about the detail on this because we'll spin it over and then so you can just hear it starting to click into place in some of it. And what we'll do is we'll be it's not clicking very much, but when I'm squashing it, I can feel it locking into place. Okay, you can feel the sort of the the motion as it's gone going into its lugs. And what we'll do, okay, so that's all in there now. I think it's as tight as it's going to get. Let's just spin the bumper over. Turn it round so able camera assistant can keep filming under the lights that we have here. Let's just move this out of the way. Right, so let me just uh, have one last one. Mm. Trusty screwdriver. Okay, so through here, again, as we saw on um, the chrome on the front, these lugs just click into place. Okay, and you can just make sure they're all there. Now, when you want to remove it, you push in like that and push it down. And again, you just do the next one, do the next one, and it's exactly the same as the other chrome. But that's what you'll be presented with when you're taking this apart. Okay, so I'll just check in there all in. These top ones up here are quite tight, but you can either access through these holes here or just down to the side. But you've just got to you've just got to go with it. Okay, um, yeah, it's not it's not difficult. It's just a bit tricky. Uh, and then once you've finished. Just make sure they're all locked into place. As you can see, this is what I was talking about here. Um, these catches here are for those main um, these main bits here. Okay, so you can't actually access the chrome. I was thinking this was just the two bits for the chrome. It is for the chrome, but of course there's other ones hidden underneath there. So um, yeah, that's my top tip for the day. Now, before you uh, took the chrome off, let me just put this back up. You then got to replace, okay, this um, weather strip. Now, this weather strip sits on there like that. It's a very simple fit. You can either run it down like that, or just push it down and feel over for it. Now, up here are those four rivets I was talking about that you need to drill out. Now, actually. Because there's these little bits in here, and I know that all this is held together by the car, I'm not actually going to replace those rivets because I don't have a rivet gun. Um, but if you wanted to, you could just put, for example, a self-tapping screw in there, or you can rivet it. Again, I'm not riveting those because once this is on the car, and you'll see what I mean, and all the crash structures in place, it's all squashed together anyway, so it's, it's never going, it's never going anywhere. Okay, I'm sure some people will be going, oh, he's mad. It's not what I would do. That's your personal choice. This is just what I'm doing. And again, you know, that's just how it how it is, I'm afraid. So we'll just clip this back into place. As you can see, that's gripping those two bits of people, two bits together anyway. Okay, that's pretty much that's the front side of the car done. And then you've just got this, let me tilt it back down again. Okay. You've then got this sort of masking piece which goes around there. I think it sort of covers up some of the radiator bits and pieces. Now which way around does that go? I think it goes that way. Okay, um, so there's two bits at the top here. Okay, they go to there. So obviously when the very first thing is when you're taking the car apart, they're the first things you do. And you just literally clip in there. One's on the side. Repeat on this side. Again, there, as you can hear, they just they clip into place. They're not hugely tight anyway. Um, there 
if you come, if you can just lean over here, I don't see you if I said what I did. These bits clip in very easily. Okay, but just to make sure they're in place, like these front ones here, just push down on the tang. Okay, just lift that up slightly and it should just, you'll know it's gone into place. Okay, like that. Okay, and you heard that click and it's gone underneath. Just repeat that on the other ones. Okay, it might be easier if you kind of do it that way. But um, I'll do that off camera and tidy it up. It's a bit. Just pull those in there now. And then we now need to put this back in place. And so, as you can see, as I was saying earlier, this just sort of clips over there, wiring's out, clips there. There. Okay, that's it. There's nothing else holding it. There's no glue, no screws, no nothing. And then we'll just clip that one back on. Uh, he says, putting it the right way around. So we put that in, and then we just push that back in, locked. And that's done. And then we've only say we've only got this one connection uh, for everything here. Once you um, once you take the uh, car to the bumper. So there you are. What we have done now. We've now made the estate model that this car's come off look exactly like the coupe and convertible models. Okay, and, and as you can see, obviously, before that's what we had before, quite plain. We've now got something I think that looks a bit more AMG like. So that's how you change your grill or take the grill off or whatever you need to do. Um, Clearly, again, if you wanted to do something with this silver piece at the bottom, it's all clipped in at the back. The same with these um, panels here. If you wanted to swap them or if they're broken from an accident or something like that, you can clip all those off yourself. Um, yeah. So that's it for this time. Uh, and um, yeah, we'll look forward to make the next video probably tomorrow once we've uh, put the bumper back on the car, uh, explaining exactly how it goes.